Beans. Must be Sunday. This, <laughs> this is how the queen died. This is what British people dream about. Ah! Being crushed by a giant can of beans. Hello. Welcome. Today we're playing Super Liminal, a game that many people have played that I've refrained from any spoilers. What is that little sparkle on my face? This is the hardest intro music I've ever heard to a game. <laughs> this is awesome. Today we're playing Super Liminal, Mo. And I know you guys. Ah! Any plate? Ah, checks. It's okay. <laughs> Because I'm going to play it too. <laughs> I've avoided any spoilers on this game because I knew one day I'd want to play it. And it just had to be in the mood. It's a puzzle game. And, you know, I, I like my puzzle. I, I think I broke the menu. <laughs> so without further ado, Super Liminal. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the technology that got deep really quick. Help? Dream uh, hello? Rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located what was right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscult will make your dreams come true. Okay. Okay, we're in the video game. We have the very in-depth controls here. It's Wajda and the little um, the little mice fella. Easy, easy. Okay, are we dreaming yet? Terms of service. Let's see. Let me get a let me get a closer read on this. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, super liminal. Let's let's go. Is this the uh, dream facility? Swanky, it's giving me portal vibes. Perception is reality. Grab. <laughs> I like the noise. The noise makes my brain happy. Boink. Boink. Oh! Ah! <laughs> what? Holy shit. Wait, if I get closer to it. What? Dude, what? That's crazy. Can we jump? Yeah, we got hops. We Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. <laughs> thank you, Welcome thank you. To Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. We This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive lucid induction dream Wee. in which you retain full consciousness and control. Sorry, what? <laughs> this is I'm just I'm just wrapping my head around this right now. Okay, so we fell asleep. Big dubs. And this is all part of some sort of sleep therapy experiment. Ah! Cool. Very sick. I like it. No objects beyond this point. Oh, that apple looks so f***ing crispy. Such high resolution on my screen. I wonder if, uh, maybe all this is just a dream, huh? There's only one way to find out. You gotta reach for the apple. Back to the testing. Ooh! Shall we? We? Um, the twofer? Yeah, sure. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Wait, what if I just block the door? Aw. <laughs> Obviously, we gotta put that on the pad. Obviously. And, uh, take it back over here. Uh, you. Whoa! Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding <laughs> objects, and listen what? to messages from your patient care team. That is trippy. That I am the standard orientation protocol. And All right, my voice cool, has cool. Been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. Wow, this bit toxic. I do not care. <laughs> Just what, what? What was the point of that? God, it's just poured all over again. There's some fucking dom mommy AI robot chewing me out over the intercom. All right, we got another puzzle. We got a little pawn. Hehe, <laughs> that's so much fun. <laughs> and we got another pressure plate. I don't know how they did this. This is insane. Bingo, baby. Oh, hold right click to rotate. Ooh, okay. Do we gotta like fix the fix the pie? Oh, we gotta make a big ramp. Okay, I got this. I got this. Easy, easy. Oh man, <laughs> what's just a big piece of what is this? Cheese? It's a big piece of cheese. 
Nice. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please She's got a good point. All right. Okay. The big old twofer. It's easy. Move that. What on earth is this? Some wood planks? Just right off the wall? Oh, dream soda? That sounds awesome. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety... Uh, shut up, bitch. Get a baking soda soda. A variable degree of force cannon will be authorized to ensure... Ooh, that's a big drink! Return to the orientation wow! pathway. They said what baking soda you want. I said the, the one on the roof. Uh, please use the other door. Oh, what if I don't want to? What if me and my big soda want to go through there, huh? What happens if I just, uh... Oh, shit. I broke the soda machine. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, we got a little soda. We just gotta stuff it in on that little pressure pad right there. There we go. Oh. Oh, come on. Get through. Get through. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, we got it. Yeah, somebody's gonna, someone's gonna need to come and fix that. <laughs> okay, damn. What happened to this place? There's broken windows and shit everywhere? Leave it to me. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Just put that, uh... Just gotta get a little bit smaller. There we go. Boom! This is so cool. I actually All love this so far. Perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Ooh. Okay, wait. I think we gotta do the big throw. Eh. Yes! Okay, nice. Warning. People beyond this point with objects will be fined. Suspension of- Why would you get fined? You're gonna fucking find me in my dream? People without items beyond this point will be fine. <laughs> Word, that, that D makes all the difference, baby. Okay, what do we have here? This looks fancy. Ooh. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? 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 What is going on? Okay. Uh. Oh no. Am I in trouble? I don't see any blocks or anything. Oh, we took the sign. <laughs> okay, maybe if we can do this. All right. Ooh, what if we make it big enough to hit both? <laughs> He's like, um, I don't know. It's worth a, it's worth a shot. Yes, nice. Good to go, baby. Please stand I'm by for so good at dreaming. <laughs> orientation. You did it. Oh, is this to just the orientation? The time allotted for your therapeutic journey. Please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Please do not delay. Hello? Did that wall panel just break? Wait, 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 wait. Something is not right. There's a secret entrance with cheese right here. And all there is is a fucking Looney Tunes brick wall on the other end. How am I supposed to get out? Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm breaking the room! This... Yeah! I mean, I mean, I know this is just a dream, but man, this is fun. Wait, the big cheese. This had to have been what she meant, right? Man, what is all this? I thought I was in a dream. Ooh, we're breaking the rules. Busting out the facility. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa! Did I just wake up? Oh, shit, I did. Is my therapy done? Josh, 3 a.m. Hello? Is anyone else... Anyone else awake? Just me? <laughs> I pulled the fire alarm. Nothing happened. This has to be a dream. Oh, it is. There's the dream soda. Give me a baking soda. Yes, please. It is still a dream. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Whoa, look at this place. I'm a big fan of the carpets. Yes. I'm going to make it my goal to pull every single fire alarm in the building. <laughs> this is the sound effect for that. I think it's just a guy going... <gasps> Okay, so I don't know if we broke out of, like, the therapy routine or, like, what what we just did. 
that actually gave me vertigo. Holy what? What? That is crazy. What the fu- Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. Whoa. There is no way. Whoa. <laughs> Just spit all over my computer. But it was worth it. What the f*** is going on? I'm gonna start drooling. I <laughs> no fucking way. Alright, well... Well, I guess let's just, uh, follow the exit signs. Um, okay. I was really, really confused there for a second. <laughs> I'm guessing we can use these as ramps. No! Give me- <laughs> Give me that back! There we go. Oh, yes. We're free. Juicy is a free elf. Okay, I wanna get up on top of this thing, though. Oh, shit! No! Oh, we gotta rotate this bad boy. What is this? Staircon. Alright. Well, let's keep busting out the facility. What if uh, the plot twist is we're not even dreaming? We're just being experimented on. But we're alive. What the f*** is this? Arg! I'm a pirate! Portal prototype. Banana yellow. It's the answers to the prostate exam. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. Ooh! Not to worry. We're nice, nice. Right. So we did break out of the cycle. This is literally, uh, what's the movie? Eternal Sunshine of the, the, the Spotless Man. A hey, good movie. Whoa. Whoa, that is fucking bonkers. Woo! I just made that with my mind. This game make pee pee hard. Okay, okay, we gotta figure this one out. Looks like uh, it's missing a flower vase right there. A flower vase that I'm guess- the Man, f*** you, made that f***ing 2D. I know, what you, you did that on purpose, I know. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, <laughs> this is this is insane. What? Wait, what? I'm speechless. <laughs> this is freaking me out. Can I pick up the door if I if I get the right uh, get the right angle here? Oh, fire alarm. Oh, wait, maybe I can bring that block from downstairs into here. Yeah, give me that. Give me that block. So I think we got to get up here to get the, uh, the the right angle, the right shot. Oh, God damn it. It got tiny. Hmm. Oh, there it is. What? What? I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> this is just, it's just crazy. This is nonsense. I don't know. I'm freaking out. Oh, another radio. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'm just popping in. Hi, Glenn. A quick update on where you are. We still don't know. But good update. Keep moving Thanks. Forward. And hopefully, you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Everyone in this facility just really has a way of um, making me want to slam my cock and balls in a car door. Alright, we keep pushing forward, baby. There's the exit. I just gotta figure out how to get there. F excuse me? It's right there. I gotta get right up on that. Uh, there's gotta be something I can grab around here or climb on. Oh, there's another block. Ooh, he was hiding. Okay, and then we can get up here. Grab this. Whoa, what? Okay, yeah, f that door. This is way cooler. Dude, we're outside. We escaped. Well, I guess not really es escaped or still dreaming, I think. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. I am, a, I am a slippery little fella. You're never gonna find me. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Yeah, I am not trusting these motherfuckers, okay? I am not, not even a little bit. What are those yellow things? Okay, okay, we got another little puzzle. Oh, fire alarm. Yes. No way. No fucking... Dude, it's just like the minions! Oh. 
What is that? Wait, wait, there's a little stuff on it. Uh, Shodokin! Hello. Another radio. <laughs> Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if what? you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. That's some good advice. Um, but what? I'm taking this moon with me. <laughs> this is coming with me. This is this is nuts. Uh, don't get lost. What if there's fire in elevator? Don't meet sister-in-law. Regular person, three to five dreams a night. Beer fun, five dollars, Dakota. Can we please help my boy Dakota out? Five dollars, guys, really? <laughs> All right, we're we're uh, we're taking the moon with us. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, it's four. Anyone else should like wake up at 4 a.m. and get that really big urge to get like a full loaf of unsliced bread and you, know, you cut it down the middle and butter it and eat the whole thing. Yeah, just me. All right, let's keep moving. Let's, let's keep going. This is the same place as before, though. Hmm. Yeah, it is. What do these people want from me? I'm, I'm dreaming as hard as my little brain can. Give me some bacon soda. Put me in the mood. Mm. Whoa, this is different. Okay. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox. Oh! Your decisions I'm in a dream state paradox. Cool. ...negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. So she wants me to take the standard route. Right? That's that's what she's she's getting at. What if I what if I do this? Huh? What if I give break the rules? So it's I mean it pretty much just oh we missed a fire alarm. It seems like we've pretty much yeah, we've just gone rogue in our own dream. And now the the scientists behind it are trying to catch us. Whoa! Excuse me? What's that? What's down here? What? I'm in the fing walls. I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls. Okay, keep moving. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams Ooh. per night. Mm. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Please uh, do the toaster bath. Yeah, she's, uh, she's not happy with me. What the? Wait, did you see that? Okay, I was wondering if I could pull that out. The wonky dice. Dice from Ohio. Whoa. Okay, hold up. That is so trippy. That gets me every time. <gasps> no way. There's an apple. Ooh, big puzzle. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, so we can pull these vents out for some reason. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me? Okay, that was kind of easy. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risk associated <gasps> with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other oh! things, all of which oh, 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 oh! are and likelier to result in catastrophe. <laughs> Wee! This is awesome! This oh man, we got a duck! I'm gonna ride him. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, he's going rogue. He's the duck's gone rogue. Oh, yeah. What'd she say? Exit the dream is soup. Jesus. The duck's going ham in the other room. <laughs> she said, um, exit the dream as soon as possible. God damn it. There you go. Listen, I'm trying to exit, buddy. You didn't exactly give me a fucking map. What the fuck? What kind of Minecraft shit is this? A little bit smaller. A little bit. That, that's good. That's good. We can get out with that. Um, excuse me? No, I'm good. I am, I am solid. I am completely good. Let's see here. We'll throw this down there for a test. Whoa, what? <laughs> I'm going backwards. Call me crazy, but I have a feeling. 
Ooh, back in the elevator. Okay. So I think, yeah, that means we did another segment, right? Whoa. That's, that's a bitch. Loading. Oh, boy. 5 a.m. Another day. Another dollar. Hello. My name is What's Dr. up, Glenn? Glenn How you doing? How you doing, Despite big guy? touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. I... Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? Why, Dr. Glenn? Why do I feel like everything's going wrong even when the sun is shining? Why do I feel like I'm gonna get caught when she hasn't even discovered my bungalow inside her walls? I need a baking soda to get my mind off of it. <laughs> Whoa! What is this? Big old hallway. Big old spooky hallway. Hello? Oh, no, dude. No, I didn't think this was a horror game. I didn't think this was a horror game. Okay, all right. I'm gonna keep moving. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what just happened? Did that... The door's gone. Did that just change? I'm in a meat cooler. I mean, the, the fucking freezer. What the hell? Oh... There's blood. Oh, shit. Let's follow the blood. <gasps> Bloody handprint, too. Whoa! Frank. I know what I know what's going on there. He's jerking off in the mini freezer. Let's leave him to it. I respect the hustle. Okay. Just gotta... Shit. Just gotta keep moving. There's definitely somebody here with us. What? Monday. Oh, <laughs> schedule for this week. Monday, murder. Tuesday, murder. <laughs> Wednesday, murder. <laughs> okay, what the, what, what is going on? What is going on in this place? There's got to be a way out. I just got to think, think with my noggin. Wait, Sunday beans? Sunday wasn't beans a second ago, was it? I didn't know Sunday was beans. Okay. Oh. Okay, there's another way over here. Oh, it's the fern corner. Uh, die, die, die it, die it, die it, die it. Of course, yeah, this is a completely normal facility. And there's blood all over the ground. Cool. Uh, I take that back. I take back everything that I just said. You know what we... do? Oh! You know what we gotta do. We gotta follow the blood. All right. <laughs> okay, that's big jump. Oh, big jump right here. Go. Oh, nice. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, another radio. Talk to me, Glenn. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And I'd like to How you doing, baby? Give me the news. Of worthlessness and self -doubt. Oh, my God. Here I we mentioned go. before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you. The kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Maybe I'm actually just sad because what I see around me is a bunch of people who don't know I have a rubber cement collection. Huh? You ever think about that? Maybe I just want to tell them so bad that it's upsetting me. Never thought about that, did you, Glenny boy? Excuse me? Oh, fuck you. That is so dirty. That is, that is, that's not okay. I mean, maybe, maybe we're, we're just alone. Maybe this is all just a big gag. I'm not really buying it so far. Hello? Who, who closed that door? Oh, shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I take it back. Um, oh, I can't see anything. Okay, right? Okay, staircase. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional... Yeah, I didn't feel like it. ...into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I'm, I'm just, I'm just sick of this lady. All right, I am, I'm totally sick of her telling me what to do all the time, what I'm supposed to dream about. Oh no, I'm stuck in the fucking meat locker, dude. Come on. Oh, oh, look at all this. How did I miss this? Ah, oh, we can use this as a flashlight. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So we ignored the AI's advice of uh, blowing our brain up, which is probably a good thing. And now we are just traveling deeper and deeper. It's another brick wall. 
wonder if there's a way to get this through. I'm sure we can put it here and use it as a light through the glass, though, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we, we keep moving. Keep moving. We gotta remember that uh, we're kind of being hunted right now. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of mm. patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. I'm fucking built different, all right, lady? I ain't your standard patient. I dream about things that are different. One time I dreamed about being a hot pocket. I got put in the microwave and everything. It was fucking weird. Uh, okay, the, uh, there's a lot more blood than before. There's just, just the blood is like, the, uh, the blood's picking up big time. What is that idea? What is this fucking escape from Tarkov? Whoa. Beans. Must be Sunday. This, this is how the queen died. This is what British people dream about. Ah! Being crushed by a giant can of beans. Look at all this shit. Oh, it was just paint. They were just painting the ballroom. Okay. Okay, that's that's fine. I gotta find a way to crawl out of that window, though. The curiosity is killing me. There we go. Oh, that might work. Come on, motherfucker. Ooh, they don't want me to climb on a 20-foot can of beans. They don't want me to. I have to know if I can get out that window. Oh, this is it. Three, two, one. It's just, it's just 2D image. Damn it. Oh, what is that? Promotes heart health. Anti-cancer. Is this what that fucking avocado? Order longer. Freeze the flaps. Okay, I have- Oh, shop! We almost forgot a fire alarm! My bad. There we go! Tee! Alright, back into the elevator. What does that make it? Like, 6 a.m.? Enjoy avocados. Loading? I- I think? <clears throat> uh, oh boy, 6 a.m. Uh, uh, shut the f*** up, please. God damn it. Shut the f*** up! Back in the office. Another day. Another f***ed up nightmare. Ooh. Really like what they've done with the place. Love the lilac walls. It's very nice. I'm never gonna get over pulling a door off like that. That feels so weird. I'm just yoinking a door like that. Nobody should be allowed to do that. Uh, okay. They fucking bolted the props to the ground. They really don't want me to get away with this. There's no force field here, so we can get our soda, right? Oh, that'll work. Oi! Well, that's gotta do something. What? Um. Yes. Just push it over. Holy shit. That is insane. Oh. That's crazy. That's. Oh, come on, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Is, wait, what, even the fire alarm? There, I mean, there has... Oh, wait. Yes, nice. It still works the other way. Okay, nice. Big thinking, big thinking. Juicy, big, fat, throbbing brain. Oh. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory Tracked loss, up. both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. No, please. Other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Uh, hey. Oh, we might be able to make this. Boom. Whoa. Wait, my my little clicker in the middle is a fucking smiley face. She's a little goober. A little goober smiling in the middle of my screen. Oh, wait. Where'd he go? Aw, he's gone. Oh, the big apple. Whoa. That is so f***ed up. I hate that. Come on, let me throw. Okay, that was easy. Oh, it's a big red apple. Okay. A pit of despair. Oh! Okay.
Okay, we can make the fan blow the apples around. That's pretty sick. But what's the point? Oh, we gotta get an apple up here. Okay, that's easy. Bam, there we go. Yeah. Okay, fun. <laughs> go home, buddy. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no <laughs> to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Okay, so this guy is absolutely bugging out right now. I have to be doing, like, big damage. Yeah, that's good enough. There we go. Perfect. It's the easiest one yet. Uh, oop. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. Okay. Yeah, give me the autocorrected version. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. Yeah. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Hmm. Real doctor who went to doctor school. That sounds pretty convincing. I would hope a doctor goes to doctor school. Well, I'm not really sure if we can trust him, though. I really... He doesn't even know how he can help us. What the f***? Is this thing spitting out little vending machines? That is f***ed up. That is... That is f***ed up. I don't like that. Oh, Glenny boy. Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience team of your care leader patient years 10 development conditions struggle you whatever with professional invention edge science with cutting a tomorrow can bright and buts no ifs or look good baby vending machine thoughts <coughs> eh. another level whoa oh wait what it's a down Maybe up. Oh, okay, no, maybe like sideways. The f that was the most cursed loading screen I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh boy, 7 a.m. Why can't I have a cool dream? Huh? Oh, there's avocado on the bed sheets. Was that there before? I can't remember. Why can't I have a cool dream like headbutting someone to death? Or being stuck in a human glue trap? Whoa, they barred off the office. What the f? Okay, fine, I'll go this way. Think you can stop me in my dreams? Whoa, that looks sick. I want to go in there. It looks so real. Another message from Glenny Boy. Hello. Holy I shit, I know what your name is! is! This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently. And discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. What? Does that even mean? What? <laughs> what? I'm just gonna keep tearing shit up. How about that? I'm just gonna keep pulling fire alarms. All right. Another hour, another f***ed up nightmare dream. Let's do this. <gasps> Holy shit. Imagine cranking your hog in this room. Oh, it's a little house. And there's a f***. Oh my god, there's... Come on, go, go, go! Jump through! Yep, yeah, go, go! Woohoo! Whoa. That is so trippy. What happens if I walk out? Oof. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. Oh, what? <laughs> we were inside the house, but the room was gone. Fragile. <laughs> oh, I might have made everything a little bit too big, but that's okay. And is the machine broken? What the f***? Hey, give me back my- Give me back my dollar! I put it- There's a little door over here. Tiny little baby door. We could probably get in there by, uh, making the house smaller, right? What the f***? Just- What? Oh, not again. Please. Perfect. Right. Okay, perfect. Am I still too big for that? No, just right. Um, hello? Glenn? What is this? It's a TV? Tuned into my favorite channel. Alright, talk to me, baby. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. 
everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. I'm gonna go with receiving this message in error. There's not really anything uh, therapeutic about any of this. <laughs> this is... What is that? Whoa. Oh, is that the exit? Ooh, blow the blocks over. Yes! Yes, dude! Yeah, boy! Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, huge. That was, a, it's just so cool. We are, we are cruising, baby. What the fuck? Um. How, how, what? Um, yeah. Okay. Wow, that's, this is, I'm, <coughs> I'm forgetting how to even speak English just playing this game. This is, uh, this is a lot. Hello, my name. Is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing <laughs> you can do me. is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. He's kind of spitting facts. He's kind of spitting facts. He's got a point. He's got a point. <gasps> yes! Yes! Bounce! Bounce! Why is it not bouncy? Glenn? Why rob me of this one, one simple thing that I, uh, that I want? Which is to simply bounce on this bouncy castle. Why? What do you get out of it? Fine, fuck it. Oh my god, we're like, fuck, we are rat size now. We've gone fucking cockroach mode. What the fuck? What if I use this in here? Oh no. Can I get it big enough? Or am I just- I'm just breaking the fuck it. I'm breaking the rules right now. Oh, I'm supposed to get up there. Oh, ho, ho. Maybe if I can get it to just rest right there, then I can climb out. I'll come out by the door and then ba bing ba boom, I, I win. Too easy. Too easy. I'm gonna get this fucking shitty ass Walmart bounce house out of here. Hello. My name is Dr. Oh, I know your name. I am gonna I am gonna headbutt you to death, Dr. Glenn Pierce, please. emergency protocols. I'm really really good at that. Thanks, man. In improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction. And we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. What? Maybe I just gotta make myself bigger? Um, I... Maybe do this, like, actually portal style? Like, fucking stack them? There's no way. There's no way. What? Oh my god, we're we're literally playing Portal right now. What the fuck? Oh no! No! I sorry I didn't say anything. That took a hundred percent of my brain. Oh my god, it's too big. Okay, it's all crumbling. We might be able to pull this off though. We just gotta fall down and then forward. Oh yes! Yes! Oh my god! Whoa! We're on the chessboard. We're in somebody's room. We are fucking like, we are fucking semen sized, buddy. What happens if I uh, fall off this table? Am I just fucked? Holy shit. <laughs> Literally falling in slow motion. I am easily small enough to crawl in the end of someone's one eyed yogurt monster right now. And we are not taking advantage of that. I am really, really little. This is wildly inconvenient. Um, There we go. That's more like it. Ooh! Meeting for Cardboard. L cardboard Lovers Association. Agenda. Roll call. What? Cat? What? <laughs> Whoa! Uh, another day. An oh, they, they took away the whole ass office this time. They're not even going to give me... Emergency Hello? Exit protocol initiated. 
Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9... No, 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 I don't want to go yet. I've been having fun. Error log by. Oh, thank God. Stand by for analysis. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. <laughs> that is a mini soda. <laughs> Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Reformulating. Impossible. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional Somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Wait, you destroyed the you destroyed the emergency exit? Continue with Somnasculpt therapy and what? on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. You destroyed the exit! It's your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Oh, I can't fing wake up. She turned what? 3 a.m.? No way. No, 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 no. That can't be right. We have already... We started at 3 a.m. We... God, God damn it. Give me another mini soda. Oh, dude, don't. Please. My brain can't handle this. Please don't do this to me. Please, please, please. The, what? No, 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 no. Whoa! <laughs> what the f- Whoa! What is happening? What the f*** was that? No, 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 not the ringing again. Please, not the ringing. I just just bought you a plate of carrots? We having carrots for lunch, fellas? The gate's gone. How do we get out of this place now? Seems like the uh, AI lady's just literally out to get us. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, enough playing around. Come on, keep moving. What? 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 The f Hello. My name is Dr. Oh, Daniels. I know your name. I'm gonna put you in a human-sized glue trap. I can't stand this f***ing guy. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the final nice. and fragile nature of the dream. Nice. I'm sorry, Doc. There's dreams to be had and fire alarms to be pulled. What is that? A big red pond? Oh, no, what? Eh. Oh, God. Oh, my brain. Oh, baking soda. No! Oh. No, I didn't even get my, my, my soda. <laughs> this is f***ed up. This is incredibly f***ed up. Oh my god. Oh, I kind of wanted to... I guess it's f***ing impossible. Oh my god, everything's completely sideways. What is that? A little scratch in the clouds? Wait, that's the ceiling. What? Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perspective. Yes, this is very challenging, Doc. Enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. This is yeah. This is f excruciating. My brain is is literally melting and dripping out of my ears. We speak. Give me that. Oh, what the? F where am I? What? Um, why is the floor doing that? Oh, 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 God, please, just get back in the elevator. Get back in the elevator. <sighs> Aw, no cool little sign this time. Exit temporarily moved? Moved to where? What? What? 
can't just move the exit. Perception not is reality. Yeah, is that even mean? Uh, perception not is. Uh, Oh. Hall 4. Okay, wait. Yes, okay, the dead end appears the first direction that I look in. What? It's crazy. It's bonkers. Look in the right direction for the dead end to appear. Wow. wow, wow, wow. Oh. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, my God. Finally, tubby time. Finally! Been begging for tubby time the entire game. Give me that ducky. Ooh, bouncy. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, finally. Fucking mini soda break. Yes. This is the fun part about mini sodas. You gotta make them full sized. There we go. All right. Oh, oh no, I put it on the wall! Oh no. Oh, I fucked up. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand oh, no. that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up. Oh, thank God. Triggering mechanism. <sighs> I thought I f***ed us. I thought I completely f***ed us there by putting that, that pawn on the wall or whatever the f*** that thing is. I've, n I've never played checkers in my life. Oh, I see you, sneaky mother God. Hello? <laughs> what? What the fuck? This isn't the beach or a bathtub. What the f where am I? Oh my god. Okay, we are fragmenting our brains. We are absolute we've lost our marbles. The marbles are gone. What? No, not the alarm. Not the alarm, please. What? Uh, uh Perception is real. I guess this one. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, there's an arrow. This way. This way. Okay, this way. I don't know how I got that. I. The don't don't ask me. That that was not me. I was just guessing. I'm not even gonna lie. For the sound of an alarm clock. Which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing Whoa! Rate. This is getting this is getting so weird. This is oh, what? I'm in an IKEA parking lot. Oh no! Oh no! What? It's a 2D image. It's a, it's a 2D. What the fuck? Oh please, please make it stop. Oh my god, that's a 2D image too. This is this is insane. Oh, what the fuck? Whose house is that? Oh, please, can we stop with the goddamn alarm clocks? Just let me wake up. Oh, man. Oh. Ah. This is definitely not my bedroom. This the is fuck? This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascalp Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Oh, shit, we're in a secret dream. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream Ooh, hey, baby. Baking soda. What on earth is this? What? Okay, okay. We got another puzzle. So it's just this module. What if I'm able to grab this bad boy? Whoa! Oh, no, I f***ed up. I f***ed up, didn't I? What? Oh, no! Explosive dream overload. Oh, I'm overloading the system. This is bad. This is bad. Everything's disintegrating. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm awake. Oh, kinda. P probably not, but. Wishful thinking. What is this? We have two different doorways. 
Um, one of them's fake, <laughs> and one of them goes to some spooky black hallway. Okay, we are like we we are in the mainframe right now of this like diagnostic sleep therapy. Not an exit. That's yeah, close enough. Oh, f me. What the f Where are we? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Yes. Oh no. Oh, it's raining. Oh, Jesus. Go, 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 go. Get out of the rain. Oh, we're in the apartment. Or the complex, but... Minerals, female toads. What are we in the fucking the hard drive of the mainframe now? What? Not an exit. You're right. It's not an exit. That's a that's a box, Stunard. I know it's not an exit. Okay. Apparently, this is though. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That is trippy. We are in like we are literally in the back rooms right now of this complex, of this dreamscape. I don't know why I knew to do that, but I did, it just felt right. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried. I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Huh. Oh no, Dr. Glenn, he's getting all deep on- he's getting deep on us. The big light switch. Oh shit. What do we just do? Oh, oh shit, I thought the game was loading, my bad. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay, whoa. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry that I don't have a ton of you know, different words for it. It's just fucking... Whoa. That's just insane. Which way do we go? We're gonna go this way. It's looping. God damn it. Are these changing at all? Blue, red, red. It just goes on forever. I don't get it. I... What? What? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> what? You're well beyond dreaming now. And you are having an aneurysm. ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Hmm. Isn't that why you came here? Interesting. Interest. We just, boy, we've been in the water cooler the whole goddamn time. I knew it. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. I hope they don't could have me set up a game of good checkers. I can. <gasps> Wait, did I fall through the white one? Oh, you lying son of a bitch. Wait, if I put it on it, am I good? Oh, I am. Okay. That's fine. We can do that. We just gotta... Eh. There we go. Nice. So we're the deepest in the dream that anybody has ever been. That's crazy. It's bonkers. What, is, what if we go through here and say that door? Okay, never mind. It's fake door. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, what? <laughs> I... Again. 
Um, I think my brain's bleeding. Boy, give me the big cheese. I want the big cheese. There we go. Oh, man. This is... This is... Uh, what the fuck? Okay, we're working our way down. Deeper and deeper into the dream. And we gotta find our way out soon. Uh, otherwise, the lady told us uh, brain's gonna explode. I think it's already happening, actually. Oh, my God. Whoa! Is that an alarm? No. No, dude. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. 7.59 a.m. Are we gonna wake up? Yes! I think we did it. Did we escape the dream? Oh, that was a pretty normal loading screen. We might have done it. Oh shit. Wait, was that? We're back in the file room. Was that not it? Are we not actually awake yet? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. What? Whoa, whoa. But more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. We're back in the walls. I mean, yeah, he's kind of my guy spitting facts once again. Damn, bounce house is closed. My guy is spitting very, very large, gargantuan, girthy facts. Your life will always be a struggle, and you will always have problems. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. You're right, Glennie G. Today I learned how to see things from a different perspective. God, I hope I get to end the game by kissing him on his fucking right on his lips. In a few minutes, you'll be back in the real world. Some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really been? I'm walking happen? right now, by the way. This is but just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wake up. What? Ah, chef's kiss. That was something. <laughs> That's it. The game's over. We beat it. That was crazy. It wasn't that long. Pretty simple game in some ways, but the actual message of it was pretty sick. I didn't think that the game would have any message. I thought it would just be fucking quirky puzzle game. Make big cheese. But no, that, you know, but in the end, Mr. Dr. Daddy Glennie was spitting some pretty hard facts. All you gotta do is wake up, see your problems from a different perspective. Quit ruminating and repeating the same things over and over again because you're scared of failure. It's a pretty, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good message wrapped up in there, that little video game. But that was super liminal. Uh, 10 fire alarms pulled out of 10. I've, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm definitely going to need some sort of psych evaluation after that. And maybe I uh, might need to also go buy some Gorilla Glue to glue the two halves of my brain back together. But other than that, 
So thank you guys for watching. That was super liminal. If you want to see any other goofy things, check them out on my channel. You know, you know the drill. I'm going to be traveling to Japan soon to film with the boys. And then I'll be back home and we'll be back in the office. But for now, that's it. I love you guys. Peace out and ciao.